Hello, and welcome to this tutorial, SAP Integration into Power BI Desktop. You will learn how you can include an SAP data source into your Power BI reports. This video is a supplement to our Extract Universal video series. If you aren't already familiar with Extract Universal, please view the overview video found in the link below. In this example, we will look at an accounts receivable report from data in our ECC system. We can see that this report consists of three different SAP tables. Let's take a look at how this is configured in Extract Universal. In this case, we have already defined our SAP table extractions. Opening the extraction dialog, we can see the table name and columns that have been selected for the data pool. We can also see a live preview. Now we need to create a destination for Power BI. From the destination menu, select the details button and select add to define a destination. Give it a name and select Power BI connector from the drop down list. Now we can update each of our extractions with the new Power BI destination. You can multi select each of the extractions using the control key. Select destination settings, then choose the new Power BI destination. For now, the destination has been set up. There is, however, a one time configuration we will need to perform. Let's go to our Extract Universal installation folder. Under Power BI, there are two scripts that we need to run. Simply run the install connector and then the trust connector scripts. This procedure follows Microsoft's recommendation for trusting third party connectors. We can now complete our live data connection with our SAP system. Select Get Data, More to access Extract Universal as a data connector. Enter the server name where Extract Universal is installed as well as the port number. In this case, we will use anonymous encryption, but you have control over which Power BI users have access to the SAP data. That completes the connection. We can test by clicking Refresh Data for a live data pool from our SAP system. Based on the extractions we created in Extract Universal, we can see a data preview. Click Refresh for a live data update. We can also publish the report to the Power BI service. Select Publish and choose your workspace. Going to the Power BI service, we can see our SAP Accounts Receivable report. We can add one or more of these components to a new or existing dashboard. In addition, with Microsoft Data Gateway installed, we can refresh our data set from the service either ad hoc or scheduled. This allows for a live connection to our SAP system directly from the Power BI service. We hope you have found this tutorial showing how you can incorporate SAP data into your Power BI reports to be helpful. To try it out for yourself, you can download a 30 day trial of Extract Universal. Thank you, and please check out our YouTube channel for more videos.